inflorescence arrangement of flowers on floral axis is called inflorescence floral axis means the axis which carries the flowers here we will see how are flowers arranged on the stem or plant inflorescence come into play when the floral axis bears cluster of flowers when floral axis bears only one flower it is called solitary flower now we will see the types of inflorescence based on whether the floral axis keeps on growing or it has limited growth inflorescence are divided into two types one is racemous inflorescence and the other one is cymous inflorescence first we will see about racemous inflorescence here flowers are arranged acropetally that means younger flowers will be at top this occurs because the main axis keep on growing the older flowers will come to bottom and new flowers will be at the top as the main axis will not terminate into flower racemous has indefinite number of flowers now we will see about cymous inflorescence here the main axis terminates into a flower so there will be no bunch of flowers and definite number of flowers will be present in cymous flowers are arranged in basi petal fashion as the name basi petal indicates young and new flowers will be at the bottom because of limited growth of main axis and continuous growth of axillary branches the plant spreads laterally so the new flowers will be at the bottom of the plant thank you for watching visit us at needbook.in